Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to do worksheet in the topic time for class 1. The first topic that we are going to see is daily routine activities. Tick the activity done in the morning. We have a child waking up. We have another child having lunch. And another child is going to sleep. Now, you will have to take the activity which is done in the morning. Which is the correct answer? Wake up is the correct answer. Take the activity done in the night. Go out and play. Eat snacks and drink milk. Or have dinner. Which is the correct answer? Which is the activity which is done in the night? Yes, have dinner is the correct answer. The next activity question that we are going to see is Sequence the activities. Here we have two children going to school, two children studying in school, a child having food, another child brushing her teeth, and another child having its bath. Now, you will have to sequence this activity by putting the numbers. Which is the first activity which is done? Yes, getting up and brushing the teeth is the first activity. After that, take your bath. After having bath, have your breakfast. After that, get dressed and go to school. And in the school, you study. So, this is how sequencing the activities is done. Dear viewers, to do many more such interesting activities, you may visit my daily routine activities video. The link to that video is given below in the description box. In that video, I have done several such interesting activities for the children to understand this concept. The next topic that we are going to see is calendar facts. Stay with me till the end of this video as we are going to do many topics under the topic time. Fill in the blanks. There are dash days in a week. How many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. Let us see the next question. There are dash months in a year. What is the answer? There are 12 months in a year. Let us see the next question now. We have May, comma, June, comma, dash. What is the month which comes after May, June and then it is July. Similarly, we have Sunday, Monday, dash. What is the day which comes after Monday? Yes, the answer is Tuesday. September, dash, November. So, what is the month which comes between September and November? September, then October and then November. Wednesday dash Friday. What is the day which comes between Wednesday and Friday? It is Thursday. So, dear viewers, you can frame such many interesting questions so that the child becomes very thorough in the order of the days and order of the months. Let us do the next set of questions now. Fill in the blanks. Dash is the first month of a year. Which is the first month of a year? Yes, it is January. Dash comes between Monday and Wednesday. What is the day which comes between Monday and Wednesday? Tuesday. See, the same question, we framed it by just putting a dash and a similar kind of question. Now we are framing it with sentences. These are all different ways in which you can test your children. Dash is the eighth month of a year. Which is the eighth month of a year? The child will be able to answer this question only if it knows the months in sequence. So the answer is August. Dash comes between Saturday and Monday. What is the day which comes between Saturday and Monday? Yes, it is Sunday. Very interesting, isn't it? Next, we are going to do the activity of 
fill in the missing letters. This activity will strengthen the spelling of the children. Now we have F dash I dash A Y. What is this? And I'm giving you the information that these are going to be either the names of the days or names of the months. So do we have any month beginning with F? No. So we have a weekday beginning with F. What is that? Friday. So what are the missing letters here? F R I D A Y. Very good. Let us go on to the next question. T U dash S dash A Y. So this is a name of a day in a week. What is this? Tuesday. Children tend to get confused with the spelling of Tuesday and Thursday. You could test their learning capacity of spellings by such methods. So what is the alphabet which comes in the dash? T U E S D A Y. Tuesday. Next we have S U dash D dash Y. What is this? S U N D A Y. Sunday. Next we have F E dash R dash A dash Y. This is surely not a name of a day. So this is a name of a month. What is that? We have February beginning with F. So write the missing letters now. F E B R U A R Y. February. Let us go on to the next one. J dash N E. What is this? This is very easy. J U N E. June. Next we have D E dash E dash B E dash. This is the name of a month. We have December beginning with D. So let us write the missing letters now. D E C E M B E R. December. Very interesting activity, isn't it? Next topic that we are going to see is clock. Before that, to do many more activities in the calendar facts topic, you may visit my calendar facts video. The link to that video is also given below in the description box. Now let us move on to the topic clock. Fill in the blanks. Dash is used to see the time. What is used to see the time? Clock. The face of a clock has numbers from dash to dash. What are the numbers in the phase of a clock? It is from 1 to 12. Next question. The long hand of the clock is the dash. What is the long hand of the clock called? Minute hand. The short hand of the clock is the dash. What is the short hand of the clock called? Har hand. H-O-U-R-H-A-N-D. Write the time. Minute hand is at 12. That is a long hand is at 12. And the short hand or the hover hand is at 6. So what is the time now? Write it in both the ways. The answer is 6 colon 00, 0 or 6 o'clock. Because the hover hand is at 6 and the minute hand is at 12. We say that the time is 6 o'clock. Let us do another example. Minute hand is at 12. Hour hand is at 10. So what is the time? The time is 10 colon 00, 00 or 10 o'clock. To do many interesting sums under the topic time in clock, please do visit my clock video, the link to which is given below in the description box. But I have covered several examples for all the concepts that I am doing now in this worksheet. One hour after 7 o'clock is 8 o'clock. See, there are different ways in which you can test the learning of the children. I am just showing you a few examples. You may create several more such examples and make sure that the child is thorough with the concept. One hour before 4 o'clock is 3 o'clock. Through this question, the child is made to get refreshed with the concept of before and after. And also familiar with the topic clock. Two hours after 8 o'clock is 10 o'clock. The next question we have is 
two hours before six o'clock is four o'clock. The last question we have here is the third hand of the clock is the second hand. This is the hand which moves relatively very fast when compared to the minute hand and the hour hand. Match the following. Here this side we have few topics. In this side we have few topics. Let us see how we are going to match them. On the left side we have one year. And now search for an equivalent or a matching topic for this on the right side. One year is 12 months. January is the first month. Tuesday comes after Monday. One week, look at the answers and choose the correct one. Seven days. Friday comes before Saturday. And December is the last month. A very interesting activity, isn't it? Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 1 under the topic time of which I have completed the topic daily routine. Then we saw calendar facts. Then we dealt with clock. And now in this video, we revise all these concepts in the form of a worksheet. Link to each of these videos are given below in the description box. You may also visit the in-screen video which will be taking you to the playlist containing videos for class 1 under the topic time. With this we complete the topic time for class 1. Next I will be starting with the topic of money for class 1. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. I would be really happy to receive comments from you, both positive and negative. It definitely motivates me and your negative comments will definitely help me improvise and provide you with quality content every time. See you again.